On today's Star Wars Legends lore video, we talk about the Old Republic's attempt to colonize another galaxy. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to another Star Wars Legends lore video. Today's video is sponsored by the wonderful folks over at X2. What's X2, you might be wondering? Well, it's my personal second YouTube channel. I upload mostly gaming content, also some vlogging stuff. I was recently given an advanced copy of the new Thrawn's Revenge mod, and I just posted episode one over there, if you guys are interested. But back to the content, and today we are talking about one of my favorite bits of Star Wars Legends, the Outbound Flight. The Outbound Flight was a project of the pre-Clone Wars era Republic, with the purpose of exploring the unknown regions, exiting the Star Wars galaxy, and finding locations and life beyond. Unfortunately, the project never left the galaxy. Then Chancellor Palpatine and Thrawn, who at the time was working for the Chiss Defense Force, conspired to destroy the Outbound Flight as it passed through the unknown regions. They did so for a multitude of reasons. For one, the Outbound Flight was crewed largely by Jedi. Palpatine saw this as an opportunity to seriously weaken the Order. However, perhaps more importantly, and certainly to Thrawn, there was worry that the outbound flight would run into an extragalactic species known as the Far Outsiders, or as we would later come to know them, the Yuuzhan Vong. Both Palpatine and Thrawn were worried that if the Vong encountered the outbound flight, they may become openly hostile and initiate the invasion of the galaxy, or that they would steal the technology aboard the outbound flight, which would help them prepare for the eventual war. So we know what happened to the outbound flight, but why was it created and actually launched in the first place? Well, one of the project's purposes actually ties in with the Yuuzhan Vong themselves. The outbound flight was mostly a project of the Jedi, with the Senate really only rubber stamping it. The Jedi hoped that before leaving the galaxy, the outbound flight might discover some evidence of what happened to the Jedi Verger. Verger had disappeared mysteriously in the unknown region and no one had heard from her. In reality, she had turned to the dark side after meeting the Yuuzhan Vong on Zenoma Sakat. This objective was actually so important to the Council that a year later during the launch of the outbound flight, Anakin and Obi-Wan were told to join the roster of Jedi on the ship, then leave when they got to the unknown regions and try to find out what happened to her. Although the outbound flight was technically a project of the entire Jedi Council, it was really the brainchild of Jedi Master Joris Sabayoth. Joris was very strange for a Jedi. He believed that the Jedi should rule lesser beings, basically everyone else by force. In leaving the galaxy, he planned to escape the crumbling, deteriorating Republic and set up a new colony of Jedi outside the galaxy. I think this setup of a Jedi colony was the most important part to Sabayoth. He actually snuck Jedi children on the outbound flight and stole them from their parents. Typically, Jedi children would only be given over to the Order upon consent. However, Joris saw himself as the unquestioned leader of the outbound flight and more than that, the leader of everyone on on it. He believed that rules, regulations, and laws did not apply to him, and I think it was ultimately his goal to shape the Jedi, then return to the galaxy to rule over it. Given his arrogance and sense of superiority, it's unsurprising that before his death, Joris actually did fall to the dark side. So that's Joris's purpose, to establish a new Jedi colony. We know that the Jedi Council also wanted to look for Vergier, but the Senate also wanted a place outside of the galaxy, a refuge, should any major catastrophe happened to the Republic. The Republic was also fairly big on exploration, so the Senate hoped that new species and planets would be discovered, just for the purposes of colonization and for furthering scientific research and knowledge. So that was the outbound flight. Ultimately, just another manipulation of Palpatine, if you really look at it. Sure, the Senate had ultimate authority on whether to approve the project or not, but obviously Palpatine's word was very persuasive. Although he played coy, he wanted nothing more than a group of Jedi Masters in one place where they could be destroyed. However, it probably is good that the outbound flight didn't reach the edge of the galaxy. They may have encountered the Yuuzhan Vong, but it sure would have been interesting to see what else they would have found. Anyway guys, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. Thank you again for watching. May the Force be with you.